hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a great day as you can see my setup is a little different because i'm no longer in italy i'm back in texas and yeah i had a really great trip i definitely suggest italy as a vacation spot i i noticed that a lot of celebrities are now in italy which is kind of weird but anyway italy was very beautiful uh, my favorite places were venice lago maggiore and cinque terre even though I almost died at Cinque Terre by hiking the mountain, it was still beautiful. But okay, so let's get started. I do apologize for like the long wait. I'm trying to find a schedule that's um, that works for me to be consistent with posting videos. Just that I'm still feeling a little uh, jet lagged, to be quite honest, like tired. So I just need to get back into the rhythm of things since I've been gone for two months. So... Um, yeah sorry for that noise so let's just get right into it so of course you know i did my eating reading and i asked the question of what does the collective need to know i actually asked the question about y'all's career path but the cards that i pulled it seemed to be directed towards something different so at first i wanted to say what does the collective need to know but then i was like what do they need to know about the career path so maybe I'm going to do career readings um, later on uh, this year, but I think I'm just going to stick to what does the collective need to know, especially on an energetic level. Because I feel like at times when I feel a certain way about something, the collective may also be going through the same exact thing. Because at the end of the day, we are all connected. So um, it's safe to say that sometimes we all go through the same emotions, um, but it takes different forms. Because of course, we don't have the, we don't live the same life and we're all on different paths. So, y'all got one hexagram, which y'all are lucky because remember all the other readings, y'all got two hexagrams. So, y'all just got one definite answer. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but if y'all's life path number is number seven, because you know, two plus five is seven, and then you see seven, seven, seven on the hexagram, then this could be a confirmation for you. Also, seven, seven, seven to me, that means prosperity and luck. And, maybe even financial abundance coming y'all's way because sometimes people places and things can get in the way of our money and our, our manifestations and the things that are actually meant for us sometimes we get so hung up on people and their drama and whatever they got going on to the point where we can't even focus on our own lives so i think i just need to say that get that out there because some of y'all may be dealing with it at the moment <clears throat> so let's let's get started um, okay, so the first card I got is without entanglement. So take a look at this card, creating success from the source. One who is not upright commits blunders and it is fruitless to have a direction to go. So yeah, let's get started. So freedom from entanglement from what is not yours, such as others' problems or events that are not your responsibility. Bring extraordinary energy. It liberates the natural and spontaneous creative flow and grounds you in present reality. A good time to reevaluate plans, dreams, and goals from where you are right now. Just like I just said before that I just started this reading, how some of y'all may be in a place where y'all are too focused on other people's lives. Like you too focused on trying to save somebody else, trying to help them. And it's getting in the way of the bag. Like it's getting in the way of your actual success. Because you're not worried about what's going on in your life. I'm going to say this, y'all can't, we can't be everybody's savior. You cannot save everybody. Some people are not deserving to be saved or some people just don't want to. So stop trying to stress yourself over other people's situations because it has nothing to do with you. Just like the card says, it's basically saying the problems or events that are not your responsibility. It's not your responsibility to continue to take care of people who don't want your help. It says what is real like in your life like right now what is real to you because other people's problems and struggles they got going on is not real to you that's not your truth that's their problem their own reality and it's, it doesn't have nothing to do with you so ask yourself what is real in your life like what can you make real because you can't you can't bring other people's manifestations into fruition you can't want better for other people they have to want that for themselves and then out that that's real. It's not real for you, but it's real for them. So you have to ask yourself, what is real to you? 
and what's actually important to you in your life right now. Now, I know y'all want to care about people. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with caring about people. But y'all need to learn how to care about people from a distance. I need to learn how to have compassion for people for a, from a distance. Because you your, your, your energy is very valuable. Remember, at the end of the day, you are an energetic being. Everything around you is pure energy. And by focusing on other people's problems, events, things that are not within your control, you are wasting energy just even thinking about it, getting mad about it, keep constantly going in circles about it. You're wasting your energy. Your time and your energy is valuable. And I need to learn how to put your time and energy towards something that's real. Okay, so it says, what is generally your responsibility and what is not yours at all? So ask yourself, what is your responsibility and what is not your responsibility? So you need to learn how to discern your time. You need to learn how to discern, like, where are you putting your energy at? And ask yourself, am I, wherever I'm putting my energy at, is it actually going to help me, push me forward on my, my journey? If you conflict, if you don't really know, then that's a no. Because when something's a definite yes, that means you're decisive and you know what's good for you. When you going back and forth in your head and you're like, I don't know, maybe I should, then it's not worth your time. Trust me, your intuition knows what it wants. On an energetic being, you're, you're an energetic being, you know what you want on an energetic level. So you need to go towards that, whatever is real for you. And remember at the end of the day, stop taking on other people's responsibilities. Just stop. Because it's doing nothing but holding you back. Remember, what I said, I think I said this a lot, even on my podcast, that I have to understand that y'all, there are going to be certain people who are not meant to go with where you're going. Friends, families, lovers, whoever. That's the sad truth, but it is real. Some people are going to hold you back because they want to see you where they are at that moment in their life. Especially if they're in a low vibrational state, if they ain't got shit going on for them, if they just... They just don't really care to actually make their life any better any way, shape, or form. They're going to want you to stay there right where they are because it makes them feel comfortable. Especially if you've been doing that in the past. If you continuously overextending yourself for people who do not deserve your energy, they're going to continue to think that you're going to be there every step of the way. But wrong, you should not be doing that. Because there are so many opportunities and things or even careers that may be out there for y'all that has y'all's name on it, but y'all too busy worried about somebody else's life to actually see it. So your life is going to pass you by. And guess what's going to happen? You're going to start to resent that person. You're going to start to hate them, not like them anymore. And the reason being is because it's actually your fault. Because you cannot put up boundaries. Because you, you cannot separate yourself from that person's bullshit. And now, now you're like in this lack mentality mindset. Now you're feeling even more insecure than you were before because opportunities and situations or just anything, any blessing that's meant for you is now is now in the wind because you were too busy worried about somebody else. And also think about it this way. You out there overextending yourself to get people out the mud, but that, that person will not do the same for you. Y'all need to realize that some people are just not what y'all want them to be. Some people are just actually shitty people. That's just simple. I had to learn that. Some people are just like that. I used to think that I give people the benefit of doubt. I thought, oh, this person has potential and they're a good person. In reality, they're just not. I don't know how they ended up that way, but that's not my business. They're just not. And they're not worth your effort and your time. And this resonates with some of y'all out there who are in actual relationships and y'all are continuing to overextend yourself to help somebody when there are other people who actually are deserving of your time. There are other jobs out there that actually want to pay you more or for you so you can move and start your life all over again so you can actually live in your authenticity. There's a lot of stuff out there for y'all. And remember... When you worried about somebody else, and especially if uh, the grass is green on the other side, and you were you tending to somebody else's garden, meanwhile your garden is dying. It, it lacks nutrients. It lacks love, care, because you're filling up somebody else's cup before you fill up yours. So remember, anybody else's responsibility has nothing to do with you. That's their life. 
there's nothing wrong with giving people advice and you know but at the end of the day is don't compromise your energy to meet people where they at don't compromise yourself just to continue to dig somebody out of the grave that they continue to dig themselves in they have to they if they're lost they have to find themselves again by themselves that's what happens when you're on a healing journey you have to learn how to navigate your own darkness because if you get back into that that same pitfall again what if the person who helped you before is not there? Then, then what are you going to do? Then what are they, they going to do? They're going to fall back in dis despair because the person that was always there is no longer there anymore because they had enough of being taken advantage of. So they have to learn how to do that for themselves so the next time they find themselves in that situation, they can get themselves out. Okay? Okay. <clears throat> so let me go to the book um, one moment every time I read for y'all my mouth like it doesn't get dry but I don't know I think needed some water okay so so of course y'all didn't have any um, like y'all didn't have any changing lines cause that's why y'all have one hexagram but Whatever changing line that I feel like will resonate with this reading, that's the one I'll read, okay? I'm not going to read all of them because there are six changing lines. And that's a lot. Let me actually get this book to... Let me see. Okay, it says... Let me see... Okay. To be entangled is to be caught up in futile, groundless things, deluded beliefs or reckless actions, or a compulsion to rewrite the past or control the future. When you are without entanglement, you recognize what is not yours and what you would not take on. Sometimes other people's problems are not yours to solve. Sometimes bad things happen to you and you are, and are not your responsibility. So they're basically saying, like, some of y'all are putting yourself in situations, involving yourself in people's lives, and y'all have to suffer the consequences of that. Remember, everything that you do, every choice, action that you make, you're going to have to suffer the consequences of that, whether the consequences are good or bad. So while you're out there taking on other people's responsibilities, their burdens, you're going to have to suffer the consequences of that. You're going to, you're going to have to do it. You're going to have to reap what you sow. So some of y'all need to be careful about the people y'all are mixing yourselves up in, especially when it comes to their drama. Some people live for that shit. Some people live for a drama. They have nothing better else to do in their life but wake up and cook drama, 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 drama. It's like people are like that. Y'all need to understand that, that some people, it's sad, but some people, maybe they do, there is some good inside of them, but it's their problem. Like they have to be willing to get up off their ass and actually do something about it. If they want to be the best version of themselves, they have to put in that effort because you're doing that. You're on your healing journey. Like the... Ain't nobody holding y'all hand on this journey but your spirit team. And like maybe a couple people along the way that resonate with you and that understand what you're going through. But other than that, those other people that y'all have to walk away from or even put up boundaries between just to protect your energy, they don't understand. They're not going to understand unless they actually do something about it themselves. Okay, freedom from entanglement brings extraordinary energy. It liberates the whole creative flow from source to enduring fruition natural and spontaneous as a growing plant just like i said about that that garden how y'all are attending to somebody else's garden and the garden you know within your own energy is literally um is dying because y'all not paying attention to it you're not actually giving it the the love and the um the attention that it actually needs this is the creative uh potential latin uh latent 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 i girl can i read in the present moment to connect con to connect with it you need to be conscious of your place on earth and set yourself straight accordingly entanglements are groundless if you realign your course with the present reality you are well grounded so i think that resonates with something with the card asking you what is real like what is actually real for you you know what i'm saying and Whatever is real for you, you make it into your present reality. 
you are you will become well grounded because you're not worried about somebody else's garden you're not worried about somebody else's energy you're worried about yours so the more you worry about your own energy the more aligned that you will be to your purpose and to your manifestations if you don't if you don't you will make bad mistakes so if you don't realign your course with your personality you will make bad mistakes and those mistakes are taking on somebody else's burden remember on your journey on your healing journey excuse me you it's like you can't even carry your own burdens up that path like some of those burdens not only do they not belong to you but some of those burdens are of the past stop trying to bring the past into y'all's future because some people situations are not meant to go with where you're going again so it's like if you don't realign your course with your present reality you are going to continue to make bad mistakes you're going to continue to overextend yourself to people people are going to continue to take advantage of you they're going to continue to walk all over you if you do not ask yourself what is real for you and what is it is not your responsibility now's a good time to reevaluate your plans dreams and goals imagine new places to go as as if no is of no use if you can't see where you are and in any case even the clearest of plans is not immune to chance so it's like yeah some of y'all are putting y'all dreams and y'all's goals on hold for somebody and this can mean something specifically for somebody in an actual relationship like i mentioned earlier it's like some of y'all are caught up in other people's mess some of y'all are with people who y'all who do not deserve y'all's time and energy some of y'all need to walk away from some of these relationships because it's not serving you it's keeping you stuck it's keeping you stagnant and your dreams and goals are not going to be met or not going to come into fruition if you don't realize that like you can like y'all are daydreaming about going into new places and doing different things but it's not going to be any use to you if you're not going to be able to actually see the fruits of your labor. It says even the clearest of plans is not immune to chance. Like even the most like achievable goals can be can be gone in the wind. Even the things that are right there in front of your face, because guess what? You're not going to be able to see it because you got that that person plays situation is that's not your responsibility standing right between you and your destiny sometimes it is you sometimes you stand in your own way but sometimes it's other people because you allow them to be right there you give them that power you give them that right don't give people your power don't meet them where they are because when you meet people where they are you give them your power sorry this is like super close i tried to like zoom out but anyway Let me um let me read the other ones and see which one I think who I should like talk about. Oh, I like this one. Okay, hold on. It says um wait, hold on. I think that was first, like, right there. If you come back to your own, because you see the the card that resonates with the card number twenty five is returning. So it says, if you come back to your own path and calmly follow where it leads, naturally you will be free from entanglement. First, you nurture your innocence of the way and allow time for the seed to germinate. Then you can disentangle from illusion and connect with the underlying truth. And the seed that the, and the seed can grow in its season. So it's basically saying, like when you when you let go of the responsibilities that have nothing to do with you. When you let go of burdens and situations that hold you back, you can start. You can then return back to your own path, because when y'all are taking on other people's responsibility, y'all left y'all's own path just to be on somebody else's, and that's not where you're meant to be. Because remember, everybody's path is different. Everybody has to figure it figure it out on them, by themselves for the most part. Your healing journey is supposed to be you and you only. And yeah, you'll meet a couple people along the way, but for the most part, it's supposed to be you. How are you going to be able to navigate your own darkness and get yourself out of the mud if you, somebody's there every step of the way to help you? You can't do that for everybody. So come back to your own path. It's just natural you will be free. It's like, it's effortless. Nobody will be able to fuck with you. Nobody will ever be able to touch you or bombard you with their drama. You just be like, next. 
Y'all need to discern who these people are in y'all life. And some of y'all already know. Some of y'all are um, related to them. Some of y'all are in relationships with them. Some of y'all work with them like anything. It's like y'all need to discern who these situations or these people are and, and remove them from your life or just put up boundaries. And even if you put up boundaries and they they can't respect those boundaries, then they're they're gone. They're done. Y'all can't make people see life or things or even understand something the way you understand it. Some people just don't want to understand. They don't care to. Because they're too, too involved in their own ego and their own pride and fear to actually take any sound advice from anybody. So it's like, in order to disconnect from these illusions, you need to see the truth. And what is the truth? Some of y'all need to start being honest with yourselves. And some of y'all need to start being honest, like, uh, truthful. And I and this is literally on my podcast, Disconnect Me From Illusions, um, Honesty, Trust, and Compassion. Like, um, I'm going to link my podcast in the description if y'all want to check it out. Y'all definitely can. I would definitely um, suggest it because it resonates with this reading. It's like disconnecting from those illusions will allow you to see the truth, will allow you to see people for who they are. Some of these people that y'all are helping, y'all are overextending yourselves for, some of these people are taking y'all for granted right there in your face. Some people are going to continue to take you for granted because you allow them to do so. So remember to return back to your path so you can see the fruits of your labor. Tend to your own garden, tend to your own, um, your own seed, like all of that. Like, when, once you do that, then it can grow. It can manifest. Okay, so, hold on. Let me see if... There's another card that actually... Um, so, okay, okay. So, I'm going to read the sequence, and then I'm going to read the pair. So, I just... So, I just got done reading the sequence, which is the top one. So, now I'm going to read the pair. For this card okay it says um and this goes with card great taming now I, I don't think i've ever read great taming before i don't think i've ever pulled that card but i pulled the returning card okay it says um without entanglement marks a time when bad things can happen through no fault of your own it is time to disengage from the misfortune not yet the right moment to assume ownership of everything in your domain and take action this this entanglement um word reminds me of the Will Smith thing about his wife saying entanglement. <laughs> I don't know, I just remind me of that. But um ooh, some of y'all may be on the, in a in an entanglement or some shit. Who knows? Get out of that, because y'all know how that ends. Anyway, um it like it says, like y'all are entangled in other people's responsibilities. And bad things can happen because remember what I said earlier, you're going to suffer the consequences of other people's actions and the choices that they make. If you don't get out of there, you're going, bad things can happen to you. I'm not saying like super bad things, but I just think you, bad things as you holding yourself back on your journey just to help somebody. You can't do that. You got to you have to continue to live your life. And some of y'all are scared to disconnect from people who don't really care about y'all. Some of these people would not reciprocate the same energy to you if you were down and out. So why the hell are y'all doing that for them? Because they'll find a way not to actually help you because they got other shit going on. But where was you at when you were helping them? Right there by their side. But you never told them I got stuff going on. When in reality, we all got some shit going on in our lives. We all we all going through it. Especially in this day and age with the shit that's going on in the world. Like... Yeah, so if some people need actual help, and I mean like real help, they can seek out help from a professional. But other than that, you're not a professional. You, the only thing you're equipped to do is handle your own shit. And you're not even doing that. So look, some of y'all, I got to come for some of y'all throat. Because some shit, some people need it. Some people need that honesty. I can't just be um, beating around the bush. Some people need honesty, like in their lives. And trust me, it's not to tear nobody down, but it's to, to help you see. Somebody has to rip that, that blindfold off of your eyes. Ain't nobody trying to like undo that, not to um, to be gentle and soft. No, you need to rip it off because it's obvious that it's, it's, been, it's been leading you down the wrong path the whole entire time. And look, and it's no fault of your own. Remember, disengage from misfortune. It's like... 
the, the consequence that you're gonna have to suffer from people's action it's like some of y'all are gonna start taking on these these um it's like this those people who it's those people that um what was i gonna say shit um <clears throat> it's those people that sit there and point the finger at somebody else like, trust me, I know people like that personally. I'm not even going to say no names, but I know people like that personally who don't take responsibility for their actions, who sit there and point the finger at everybody because they're too afraid to actually suffer the consequences of the choice they have made in their life. And they feel good doing that. And it's actually kind of sad to watch because it's like, that's not fair to nobody else to sit there and point my finger at you and say, oh, it's your fault because I did this. No, it's your fault. It's the other person's fault that they did what they did. And some of y'all are trying to take on other people's, um, what other people say to y'all. Some of y'all are trying to say, oh, it was my fault because I told them, no, y'all are grown ass adults. Most of y'all, that's what I'm assuming, that some of y'all are grown ass adults. Everybody in an adult who's uh, sound mind and body and all that can make decisions on their own. Can sit there and say yes or no. No, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to do that. No, that's not a good idea. That's not going to do any good to me. Like, I'm going to lose money doing that. It's like, that's that other person's problem. Stop taking on other people's problem as your own. And honestly, let those people talk. That's all they do is fucking talk. That's all they can do. They have nothing else. They don't hold no type of weight. Let people say, oh, um, it's your fault to do that. It's only your fault if you allow it to be your fault. If you're taking it on. Other than that, when somebody say, oh, it's your fault, be like, okay, whatever. Like, whatever. No, and, and we all know the truth is their fault. Sometimes you can't just help people. Some people like that are lost. There are going to be some souls on earth that are going to be lost. Maybe that's their purpose. Who knows? I don't know. I don't read people's soul contract. I don't even know what the hell is on mine. But all I'm saying is they're lost. And have compassion for them. Hopefully they'll find it one day, but then at the end of the day, it's not y'all's business. It doesn't, don't worry about it. So it's just like, bye. Move on from people like that. Doesn't matter who it is, and I'm being honest, doesn't matter who it is. Y'all have to learn how to let go. So the, look. Look, I said what I said. Shit. <clears throat> okay. Um, I don't think I want to read the... I don't want to read the other... Let me see. Let me... Kind of skim over it. Okay, I like this. Um, okay, this is the only one. I keep saying I like all of them. Okay, uh, let me read the last line. Or actually, let me see if I can, if I read the whole line, then it'll make sense. When there are obstacles, perhaps when the free flow of communication is blocked, this does not mean it is your job to engage and grapple with the problem. So look at that key word, the problem. Y'all got problems in your life, and those problems are people who are who is standing between you and your um, manifestations. Making progress is not, let me go back to one. Making progress is not the same thing as clearing blockages. So, uh, not when you can simply walk past them, disentangle, and move on. Boy, making progress is not the same thing as clearing blockages. Bruh, I'm telling y'all. It's like, some of y'all out there, wanna, this is what I get from me, even though it says what it says. Like, some of y'all out there trying to play savior for people and thinking that that's helping you on your journey when in reality it's not. It's a whole blockage. You're going to be stuck and stagnant right there in the mud with them. And that stop calling progress and obstacles the same thing. That's what they're basically saying. It's not the same thing. Like that, what is that? Um, It's not the same. It's not the same as that, that Instagram. I, get, I got all of them stuck in my head. But um, some of these blockages, like the divine is basically telling me, y'all are making certain things harder than it is. Like some of y'all can just simply walk away from people and look at these blockages as people. People that do nothing but cause strife, strife and stress in your life. Y'all you, can just simply walk away from them, but some of y'all don't want to. Ask yourself why you don't want to walk away from this person. Some of y'all love them. Some of y'all care about them too much, but at the end of the day, ask yourself, do they even feel the same way about you? 
I was watching this girl's podcast. She was talking about how some of y'all consider these people in y'all lives best friends, but these people don't consider you that their best friend. So why are y'all putting the same effort to make keep somebody in your life when they're not trying to do the same for you? So y'all need to simply walk away and move on with y'all's lives. Even if that means that person being left behind, oh well, fuck it. Look, I'm the queen of cutting people off. The reason being is because I see no use in them being in my life anymore. Not because I can put up a boundary. It's because I just don't align with them in any way, shape, or form. I don't under, I don't get how me being in your life and them being in my life is any good to me or even to them. It's a waste of time. And every time I have walked away from people, new people have shown up in my life. So, again, I said what I said. Some of y'all, these blockages are people. And y'all, all, all y'all got to do is walk away. And remember, when you're making progress, you're making progress on your own journey. That's when you're making progress. And progress is when you're able to mentally move on from people. That's progress. Mentally moving on from people in situations is harder than just simply just walking away. Some people you can just walk away from because they, they didn't got to a point where they really fucked y'all over. And some of y'all just done. But sometimes, like, making progress is mentally walking away from people when you've already physically walked away, if that makes any sense. So, yeah, you can just simply walk away from somebody, but no one said it's going to be easy. That's why they're saying simply walk past them. Like, just, be like, you know what, I'm done. Even though mentally you may be holding on, that's when you start to make progress, when mentally you're able to get over that, when you're able to understand being in an entanglement with that person, place, or thing, what lesson it has taught you so far about yourself. That's what I mean by the progress. But as far as physically walking away from somebody, do it. Just walk away. Leave it in the past. Leave it where it is. And then later on, down the line, you can then understand what it meant for you and how we can help you uh, progress you forward on your journey. So, okay. Okay. <sighs> Literally wasn't even sniffling before I did this reading. Now I'm sniffling. Okay, that's another. Okay. Um. So cycles and movement. Look, look at the. I think that represents north, east, south, and west. Let me check. I'm not gonna miss here. Um. Oh yeah, it does. It does. I was right. I don't get this card a lot. Okay, it says the medicine wheel card portends the time of cycles and or movement. You are asked to notice which stage of the cycle you are presently experiencing. Is it the beginning, the creation, the growing time and developing, or the end of the cycle? How you look at where you are will assist you in clarifying what it what it is that you need to do next. Any retreat, hesitation, or stopping has now ended. So I'm basically saying it's like y'all need to um y'all need to be honest about where y'all are in y'all journey. So if y'all too busy taking on other people's responsibilities or worrying about situations that you cannot control or that has nothing to do with you, then you need to ask yourself what stage are y'all in? Because y'all some of y'all need to be at the end cycle. Some of y'all need to end some of these cycles with these people, these jobs, these uh situations. Because look, it says any retreat or hesitation is is going to hold you back. And they want you to understand that it's not going to be able to assist you in clarifying what you need to know if your mind is clouded by other people's BS or any anything that you cannot control or any emotion that you have not even made peace with yet. It's not going to be able to assist you. It's not going to help you. It's going to hold you back. So understand where you are in your healing journey so you can then know what you need to do next in order to get to the next phase. Because if not, you're still going to be there. You're going to be stagnant. You're going to be miserable. You're gonna, not going to understand what you're doing wrong. But in reality, what you're really doing wrong is to refusing to actually see what's right in front of you. Okay, since so with this car, you are being put on notice that the st stagnation is over and new beginnings have taken root in the present. So like with this... Um, like with this card, like I, now I'm getting two different endings. So some of y'all are taking on other people's responsibility and y'all are not actually doing nothing about it. Y'all are allowing people to take advantage of you and 
you know, treat you any type of way because you allow them to. But there are also some of y'all who are now putting that in the past. So y'all are now moving on from that and not allowing people to do, say anything. Cause you don't see, you, you no longer will suffer the consequence of other people's actions. You know why? Because you have moved on from that. Remember from this, this last card, you have walked away. You, have, you simply just walked away. Cause sometimes it is that easy for y'all. Some people can just walk away from situations that no longer serve them. So that's what some of y'all are doing. That's why some of y'all are either being put on notice is what you need to do is walk away or you have done that in the past. And they're like basically congratulating you and telling you like there's now is a new beginning. So these new beginnings can bring in new friends, new uh, relationships, new jobs, careers, anything. Okay, notice which direction on the medicine wheel will assist you forward movement and apply that lesson to your life. Your choices are illumination and clarity, east, faithfulness and humility, south, introspection and goals west or wisdom and gratitude north it is now time to decide for yourself which type of movement will keep the wheel turning in all cases the medicine wheel card assures you that that life continues the quality of the new cycle depends upon you your actions and your attitude towards growth okay look so since the card is red and let me get this since the card is red and that rock right there is red so i'm thinking that let me say northeast so let's say that we are going in towards south right so south is faithfulness and humility like ask yourself right now where are you are you being faithful to yourself are you being more faithful to other people who are not faithful to you so it's just like that it's that simple ask yourself those questions because, again, y'all around there being faithful to people who are not going to return the same type of energy to you because they don't have no loyalty and no faithfulness within themselves. So don't expect them to, to treat you the same way. Okay. And, and, again, the quality of the new cycle depends upon you, your actions. So I can read y'all's energy all day as long as I want to. It doesn't matter whether you are um, in the past energy or if you are um moving um past energy where you're stuck there you're worried about other people's lives responsibilities or you're moving forward it doesn't matter where you are right now it matters where you see yourself moving forward because if you continue to you can be in the, this present energy where oh no i've moved on from that but the divine can send you another lesson and then you can be trapped back in that same cycle again because there's no clarity you didn't understand what the the past lesson was trying to teach you it was trying to teach you that y'all cannot control other people's lives y'all cannot be responsible for other people's choices that they make because as bad things are going to happen to you because you're going to reap the consequences of those actions so you know, all need to understand that you, there you cannot control what cannot be controlled you can only control how you move forward and how you see yourself on your journey that's the only thing that you can control and if you see and if you understand that then you'll move forward but if you don't you're going to continue to get lessons just like the ones in the past until you understand because what's good in manifesting something that you feel like is meant for you if you're going to go and fuck it up? Because you, you don't know how to actually have it or obtain it or appreciate it because you still did not understand your past lessons. That's why the divine wants you to understand what you're being taught when you're with these people or these situations, these jobs, so you then can appreciate and have some value and self-worth and then you can move on to that next phase. Then you can start to manifest and attract things that... Um, resonate with your energy and where you want to be that's why it says some of y'all need to change y'all's attitude some of y'all, maybe I just, some of y'all just need to change y'all's attitude on how y'all see yourselves in y'all's journey like for example I had like a bad attitude towards my journey I felt like uh, there were times where I felt like oh I'm worth I'm worthy and then that, that this job or this place or anything is meant for me and I'm deserving blah 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 and then there were times where I just did not feel deserving at all so me going back and forth in my mind about me being deserving and me having self-worth and me not having self-worth and not being deserving was confusing me. My energy was all over the place. So how the hell, if, like, if my energy is conflicted, how am I going to manifest anything in my life 
that that represents a stable energy. I'm not. I'm going to manifest things or attract things that are that are nothing but confusion. I'm going to attract people, places, and things that are uncertain, that are unstable, because I'm unstable in my own energy. So I needed to change my attitude. So I need to ask myself: You need to choose. Are do you have worth? Are you value? Like are you um, worthy or deserving of this, or are you just not? And then that that calls for more self reflection. I need to understand like why I, why am I conflicted within my own energy? Why do I feel this way? Why do I feel confusion? Because the way the reason why I felt confused because I was scared. Because no, I I didn't feel like I was deserving. Because if you have to go back and forth, am I deserving or not? Then it's a no. Because if you're definitely know that you're deserving, it's a it's a simple yes. But the reason why I didn't feel deserving because I needed to do more shadow work. I needed to do uh, more self reflecting about what I was deserving of, and then not putting my worth into things because my value is dependent on me it's not dependent or codependent on nobody else my worth does not equal money my worth does not equal a relationship my worth equals me my self-love and who i see myself um as and, and who i want to be in the future so i need to change my attitude and remember it's not all just about changing the attitude and your perspective it's all about doing the necessary healing work so you can then be in alignment with what you want so you then can get out of that conflicted energy then so some of y'all can only realize that y'all cannot control other people's lives so you can then stop allowing people to point their finger at you when they make shitty ass decisions in their life period so um yeah that's what that that card represents let me see if there's anything else that y'all need to know mm. So it says, um, let me just read you off the thing. It says, to live the path of the medicine wheel, which is this, we are asked to see the gifts of growth that each direction offers. So even if, like, look, the South was faithfulness and humility, East was illumination and clarity, and then the West was wisdom and gratitude, or no, West was introspection and goals, and then um, North was the wisdom and gratitude. So it's like each and every, like, it doesn't matter where you go north east south west you're still going to have this gifts you're still going to understand that there's wisdom and gratitude in this journey there's illumination clarity faithfulness and humility introspection and goals so wherever you go you're going to reap the benefits of those the divine is going to continue to push you forward especially if you want to continue to put in effort they don't look they don't want you to get caught in old patterns don't get caught in old patterns like, like i said whether you in this past energy or in the present energy of moving forward or feeling stagnant and trying to get out of it don't get caught in old patterns always have some humility always show gratitude and be humble because some of y'all may have to revisit old cycles again because some of y'all don't understand what it's trying to teach y'all that's what i'm saying like you can move in and out of that energy all you want to but if you don't stay remain humble and understand what was really going on at that moment you're going to have to be met with that same fate again until you can actually move on from it and understand and appreciate what you were being taught at that moment Ugh, my, my nose is like being so weird Ugh, okay so that is it for today's message don't forget to share like and subscribe you know um, show some love Again, thank you guys for always tuning in. I hope nothing but the best for y'all. Okay, so I'm going to get out of here. I'm just chilling right now. I love coming to this place because call it what you want. Our libraries are quiet. It's nothing but silence. And that's exactly what I need. I love silence sometimes. Like, I love not having to hear anything. But anyway, again... Thank y'all. Um, also, check out my podcast. And if you feel like you don't resonate with the messages, then definitely share with somebody who you feel like it will at that moment in life. Thank y'all. And I'll talk to y'all later.